once home to murderers, debtors and highwaymen, including the infamous Dick Turpin. York Castle Museum is located on the site that was once York Castle, originally built by William the Conqueror in 1068. In the early 1730s, Dick Turpin joined a gang of deer thieves and later became a poacher, thief and killer. Captured and then imprisoned in York Castle, Dick Turpin was found guilty of horse theft and was executed by hanging on the 7th of April, 1739. Now, there have been numerous accounts of paranormal activity in the York Castle Museum and here are a few stories. An old lady dressed in black is uh, supposed to have been seen sat next to the fireplace and also the sounds of singing is heard echoing throughout the corridors. The sounds of rustling chains and ghostly voices have been heard and also scratching uh, which is coming from the cells has been witnessed from staff and visitors throughout the past few years. Also there's been reports of a vicar who's been spotted around the building as well, more so in the old prisoner's chapel. Now, not so long ago, I was sent in a photograph uh, from Heather Billington, friend of the We Investigate Paranormal page, and just take a look at this. Here is one of the most fascinating photographs I've come across, which was recently taken by museum visitor Heather Bellingham. Clearly visible here are what seems to be the feet and legs of someone or something. So, so some more unusual phenomena as well. Uh, the sighting of a phantom dog was spotted one night in the old darkened galleries. A fascinating location steeped with so much history and ghostly encounters. It is now hard to believe that the museum castle would have been the final home to so many criminals and executions. If we could take a step back in time, it is sure to look and feel very different to what we all see here today.